Good morning, Gorsi Bank. Welcome to assembly number five of the summer term and week nine of lockdown. Um, the good news is you get a half term after this week, uh, but well done for everything you've all achieved in that time. Community is the word you can see above me for this week's assembly. Uh, very important word. Most of you will know what it means, but we, you will yourselves belong to quite a few different communities. You might refer to your family as a type of community. Uh, you might be part of uh, Cubs or Scouts or something like that. that. That's a community. You might even refer to the, uh, the group of people who support the same football team as you as, as some kind of community. And you are all hopefully proudly part of the Gorsi Bank community, the badge that you can see underneath me here. Um, you wear on your on your uniform, hopefully proudly, uh, every, time, every day you come into school. Uh, I've even noticed some of you wearing it with your learning from home, which is fantastic. Um, the reason it's, it's particularly important at the moment, of course, is because unfortunately we're not able to be a community all together in school on a daily basis at the moment. But it's really, really important to remember that you are still part of the Gorsi Bank community, even if you're at home. Lots of you will, of course, um, know by now that some of you are going to be returning to school just after May half term at the start of June. It'll be lovely to see all of those that are coming back in. Some of you will be at home for a little while longer. But please, please remember all of you, you are still part of the Gorsi community. It's a really, really uh, powerful and really positive community to be in. I'm very, very proud to be part of it. I know all your class teachers are as well. So the book that we're going to read today is hopefully very much representative of that. So let's have a look at it and then I'll join you again on the other side. We are all welcome by Alexandra Penfold and Suzanne Kaufman. Pencils sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing, let's make haste. School's beginning, dreams to chase. All are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcome here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hand, we'll go around. All are welcome here. Gather now, let's all take part. We'll play music, we'll make art. We'll share stories from the heart. All are welcome here. Time for lunch, what a spread. A dozen different kinds of bread. Pass it round till we're all fed. All are welcome here. Open doors, rush outside. We will swing, we will slide. We'll have fun side by side. All are welcome here. We're part of a community. Our strength is our diversity. A shelter from adversity. All are welcome here. We will learn from each other. Special talents we'll uncover. There's a big world to discover. All are welcome here. So much to learn, so much to do. And when the busy day is through, can't wait to come back, start anew. All are welcome here. Head for home, get some rest and greet tomorrow ready and fresh. Our time together is the best. All are welcome here. You have a place here. You have a space here. You are welcome here. It finishes there, that's the last page, but 
pause it while you're on this page because all of these different um, different speech bubbles that you can see in front of you are all the different ways of saying the word welcome in lots and lots of different languages. Um, so if, if you're with mum or dad or brother or sister or, or even just on your own, pause it here just for a second and see how many of those you can match to the country they come from. Okay, that was We Are Welcome by Alexandra Penfold and Suzanne Kaufman. That book is, is full of so many really positive messages, both in terms of community and belonging and appreciating the, the diversity we have, not just in the school community, but in the world around us. And you can see just from the front cover in front of you now, just the diversity of the, the people there and the fact that they're all holding hands and really embracing being part of the same community. Right, the next slide has five, I think, different rights of the child. Uh, there will be several of them that jumped out at you straight away. So you don't need to name the five that I've named, but just see how many of the rights of the child you can name that you think apply to that story. Pause it now and just have a little brainstorm. I'm sure quite a few of these you would have had. I'll go through the five that I've picked out. Article eight, you have the right to an identity, an, an individual identity that is yours and nobody should be able to take that away from you. Article 14, you have the right to think what you like and be whatever religion you want to be. Article 15, you have the right to be with friends and join or set up clubs unless this breaks the rights of others. Article 28, an obvious one, hopefully you'll get that one, uh, you have the right to an education. And Article 30, if you come from a minority group because of your race, religion or language, you have the right to enjoy your own culture, practice your own religion and use your own language. That means whatever, whatever um, group of people make up our community, it doesn't matter what religion you are, it doesn't matter what language you speak, you are absolutely welcome as part of the Gorsman community. So some really important messages in there. Um, one of the, the most powerful pages for, for me, I think, or a couple of pages, is where it says you have a space here, you have a place here. And even though at the moment you, unfortunately, for, for most of you, can't be with us in school, you still have a place and a space as part of the Gorsi Bank family. And even though we can't be together at the moment, I want you to keep remembering that, even if it's going to be another good few weeks before we get to see you. As a final note on the subject of community, I'd like to say Eid Mubarak to all of our families who have been fasting for Ramadan over the last few weeks. And at the end of this week, we'll be celebrating Eid. Um, unusual circumstances for all of you as well, um, considering what's going on at the moment. But I hope in whatever way you will be celebrating Eid at the end of this week, um, I hope you have a wonderful time with your families, even if that has to be remotely. There are several of the Learning From Home packs um, for this week, uh, which have little bits, a uh, few tasks to investigate exactly what Eid is for you. So hopefully you'll find that really, really interesting. Uh, I will leave it there. I wish you all very, very pleasant weeks. Um, work hard on those packs and enjoy half term when it comes. And we'll hopefully see you all soon. OK, bye bye.